All right. We hope we're just starting here. So question one, you should have recognized that, right? This is your pair. It's obvious, right? So we're going to go sine of 110. I'm going to work through the whole thing so you see how if you made a mistake, write it down anyways. It still works, right? It, it still helps you to figure out what you're supposed to be doing next time. Your brain makes connections, right? So you're asked to find side C, right? Which is a cross angle C, of course. So And we do know that angle. So nothing really that we need to find other than just side C. Okay, so you cross multiply and divide. And you get 4.788, and that keeps going. But because you went around to two decimals, C is 4.79, right? That third number bumps that to a nine. And we are in centimeters. So here's how you're going to give yourselves marks. You get one mark for the setup, and you get one mark for the correct final answer. B, calculate side A. So you're looking at the triangle. Always do that, please. Side A, I need the angle across from it, which at first glance I don't have, but I do have two angles. So this is what you should have done first. Let's find that angle across from it. Okay, and this will give you one mark. Okay, you get, you get one mark for doing that before you start solving. And I'm going to start with the same pair that I had to start with. But now I'm going to use sine of 30 because that's the angle across the side I'm interested in. Okay, so cross multiply and divide, sine of 30 divided by sine of 110. When you do that, you get uh, where am I at here? 3.72 centimeters. You get one mark for finding angle A, which is 30. You get one mark for setting it up like this. And then you get one more mark for the correct final answer. Units, make sure your units are there. Okay, so uh, what, what else do I want to say here? Yeah, just make sure you show your work. And let's keep going. So on this triangle here, DF below, calculate the value of angle F. Angle F is right here. We know the side across from it. But most importantly, we recognize that there's a pair. Because soon you're going to know cosine law, right? So sine of 105 over 22 is equal to sine of F. This is the trickier one, right? Not just F, but sine of F. And 18 is right there, okay? So cross multiply and divide. Sine of F is 18 times sine of 105 over 22. And the way I showed it to you is, let's figure out what this is right away. Um, I think I will do that actually from scratch. So I multiply and then I divide. So that's 0 0.79030 and that keeps going. Angle F side sine inverse. So sine F is here but then once you're ready to take the inverse you just go angle F. Sine inverse shows up there. 79 dot 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 so then you go to your calculator and you go shift sign i can just hit equal on mine 
and it gives me 5221. So let me just move that up. 5221 is here. So here is the mark allocation. One mark for setup. One mark for the work, including actually showing that you're taking the inverse. And one mark for your correct final answer. This is where you're going to take half a mark off if this happened. Some students write this uh, sine of f is equal to 52.21. Right? Uh, that's not right. Okay, so take off half a mark when it's so angle f at the end. Okay. The length of side E. So this is what they're asking for because it's a cross angle E. You don't know what angle E is just yet, but we've just found a second angle, right? So we're taking away the 105 that's already there. We're taking away the angle we just found. Angle E is 22.79. You get one mark for that. And now you can go ahead and go back to using sine law. And I'm going to use the pair that was given to me right at the beginning. And I'm going to use this angle, right? Because angle E is across the side I'm interested in. And you know what the value is. So that's how you set it up. You get one mark for the setup. And then you're going to get one more mark for actually solving. So E is 8.82 centimeters. Make sure you have a degree symbol when it's supposed to be an angle and centimeters when it's supposed to be length, right? Centimeters, meters, inches, whatever. So this page is out of 11 if you want to add it up already and get, get a total for this page. And again, we're not going to give up, right? If you're not getting it today, another go right on Monday and then another go on Tuesday right I want you to just get better at it you're gonna get better at it if you practice I promise I can't promise you're gonna ace it but I can promise that you're gonna get better at it right all right <clears throat> second page I don't know if you remember that example where the was it Kat and the other Steve or something looking at the Pika, right? That, uh, that animal across the river, same scenario. So by the way, I'm going to do that a lot. Um, I'm going to take from the book, like whatever we've gone over, you will see something similar the next day or two, right? So watch for that. So the cabins are 500 meters apart. So it's from end to end. There's the boathouse. The so they want you to calculate the distance from cabin A to the boathouse. Cabin A to boathouse, I'm going to call that X. And at first glance, you don't have a pair. So I'm looking, look carefully here, okay? For now, that dashed line is not, I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to look at the big triangle there. And I have two angles. So getting that third angle is not a problem. I'm going to call this angle B, right? So that's the first step I'm going to take because I need a pair. If I get that angle, I will have my pair. Okay, so 180 minus 65 minus 30, you get 85 degrees. So you get a mark for that. You've done that, you get a mark. So now you have, you can actually go ahead and write this in. And there's your pair. This is what I call the hidden pair because it's not, it's not out in the open, right? And then this is where you have to be careful. Watch carefully. You're interested in this side. You have to use this angle. So we're going to go sine of 30 
Remember, angle is always glued to sine when you're actually solving. And this is x. I call it x, right? When there are no letters, put some letters in there. Cross multiply and divide. You divide by sine of 85. And x is going to be 250.95 meters. One mark for setup, one mark for solving. If you if you pick 65 in here, right, then take off a full mark. Okay. I would still give you one mark for setting it up, but if you put 65, you take off a full mark. B is asking the distance from cabin B to the boathouse. Cabin B to boathouse, that is Y. I'm going to call that Y. And then sine of 85. I'm using the pair that I've found again. Okay. And I'm going to use sine of, because I'm interested in Y, I have to use the angle across from it. It always works like that. These two should be across each other, just like these two are, okay? So sine of 65 over y, cross multiply and divide. Okay, we set that up. So one mark for setup, and one mark will be for the correct final answer, which is 450, 488 square meters, right? So you get one mark for that. Calculate the width of the river. Width of the river, uh, W. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sine of 85, right? Thank you. That is correct. Good catch, good catch. Especially on a Friday, you better watch out. I make mistakes. Mondays and Fridays are pretty bad. Anyways, uh, the width of the river. This is where you choose. Um, let me go up, back up to this diagram. This dashed line splits this triangle into two. You pick which one. In this case, you know this side and that side. So either side is good to use. I'm going to use the left side. I'm cutting this. This is W. And I'm creating a 90 because that's how you would measure the distance, right, between the banks. This side you found, right, it's X. It's 250.95. Just write it in. Just label it. And this angle is 65 degrees. I'm basically just copying that left triangle. I have a pair right here. Sine of 90 over 250.95 and here I have sine of 65 is across W which is the side I want right cross multiply and divide so that's 250.95 times sine of 65 divided by sine of 90 da -da 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 -da. And that gives you 227.44 meters. Where do the three marks come from? You don't have to have the diagram, but I would say that that diagram somehow happened either here and you're right, you just thought of it that way or you drew it. So one mark for that process, one mark for setting it up and one mark for getting the correct final answer. Obviously, these are going to be different. If you made a mistake up there, that's okay. Don't don't take marks away again. I will I, I would just follow through step, 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 right? Last but not least, where is the angle of depression going to be located? It's always between the horizontal and the line of sight. So in this case, you have to introduce a horizontal line, and this is indeed where the 50 degree 
That is the angle of depression there. It's right there. This is not it. If somebody did this, that, that is not it. Right? I'm willing to put money down that some a few of you did it. I'm not making fun of you. It's just I want you to start thinking, where is it? Oh, horizontal. Where is the horizontal? Right there and the line going down. That's where it is, right? So one mark for that. It's either you got it or you didn't, right? This page is out of 9. So 9 and 11 is 20. Put your name and last name at the front. It doesn't matter what you got, okay? Just because there's a mark associated with this paper and your name doesn't mean that it defines you, okay? This is just to grow. And I, I somehow want to keep track of that growth. And uh, don't be too hard on yourself. That's not what math is about. 